Why don't men get thrills from fictional romances as much as women? Key sentence as much as. They're not really written for us. Are they? I've tried to read books like that and it's hard not to get past the ridiculousness of it. Might be like a woman watching porn intended for men. You see through it as the fantasy it is. Because most of the men in those films at least the guy who gets with the MC is an idealized sort of man. The sort of thing women make such a fuss about men writing women about. Or at least we don't relate to those male characters. A Knight's Tale is what I would describe as a romantic movie for men. The princess loves the main character Heath Ledger not for his status. But for who he is. She explicitly mentions it. I can't relate to any of the characters or the plot. The men in those movies books are all conventionally attractive and very wealthy. They will sacrifice anything to get with the girl. I don't have any of these qualities. So I feel nothing for them. Women complain about unrealistic beauty standards. But you never see a romance movie where the man has a dad bod and a prosthetic leg. Do you? I think that men love romance as much as women but romantic dramas movies aren't usually romantic. Most of the time the man does all the work while the woman doesn't do nearly as much to make him feel special because if she did there would be no drama. Just a healthy relationship. Because it reminds us too much of real life. The romance is always one-sided with the man doing these grand gestures trying win over a woman. That supposedly loves him back. Idealistic fiction is supposed to be a break from reality. Not a retelling of it. In my eyes it's written for women. It's unrealistic in a boring way. I'm also not going to drop everything in my life for someone I just met or run after someone to the airport. I'm also not a romantic guy. The last thing I need is another media piece that reminds me of how looking for love as a man is. Women wouldn't understand it because they don't have to put in the same effort. Hardly ever take the initial steps and do the chasing. I can't remember seeing a media piece that did that. Edit I actually remember a single one. And it's Charlize Theron's character in Seth MacFarlane's A Million Ways to Die in the West. Funny how only a trashy comedy movie managed to pull it off. There's so few examples of the men in the story being loved. Romanced. Protected. Fought for. Etc. The only way I could even get into one is if I flipped the genders in my head. There's been a couple of really good Reddit posts on male romance. The TLDR is that romance to a man is when a guy is down on his luck having a really hard go at life. And a woman chooses to love him anyway. Fictional romances don't explore this concept at all. Aside from the already given answers. I also think romances in general are largely televised gossip and drama. I have zero interest in other people's social lives. It's all about relationships and emotions. I largely don't care about that. Aside from real-life close relationships or from people I am genuinely interested in for other reasons. But this is how a lot of women function and bond from teenage years onward. That's largely what captures their attention. So now it just captures it on TV. Because most romance movies show a highly toxic relationship with an unhealthy power balance or other severe issues. And the happy end usually only works if you don't think ahead how the story will evolve after the end of the movie. I don't usually get too excited about seeing other people do things I've already done and continue. To do. Falling in love isn't exactly a fantasy one need fulfilled vicariously. What I can't do is be a former CIA operative Halo jumping into a secure facility in Tehran in order to steal nuclear secrets. For that I need a proxy. Same way women some don't like a good stick. Romance is a noun for women, but a verb for men. Because even in fiction an absurdly unfair amount of labor is given to the man. 
and the female clear characters barely reciprocate on the same level that the main male lead does. Then it usually ends with the man apologizing and groveling and begging for her forgiveness and then she pats him on the back of the head and adopts him as her pet idiot for life. It's insulting and annoying. For us. It's seriously unromantic most of the time. Here's the oversimplified version. Porn for men traditional porn mags. Videos. Etc. Porn for women fictional romance scenes. Cause it feels like watching a checklist of things you have to do. Mostly unrealistic for the most part. Because it's a lot of work. Men aren't on the receiving end of these romantic fantasies. It's like a job for us. Typical romance movies are made to be romantic wish fulfillment for women it's very clear who the hero is the female protagonist. Which makes it hard for men to identify with. Also because at least traditionally. Our roles on the way to a romantic connection are different. It would not work well even if you gender flip the characters. I think as a man. I get roughly as much out of it as a woman would get out of watching a Bond girl throwing herself. At Bond. Because that is a male fantasy. Because movie romance usually portray it magically and compared to reality becomes depressing. Because we know it's unrealistic bullshit. Because men know that if they did a vast majority of the things in those the cops would be called. Restraining orders issued the woman would non-stop talk about the creep that tried to hit on her. Whilst complaining she can't get a BF. Or something like that. It's like asking me why I don't get thrills from train spotting. It just holds absolutely zero interest to me and I don't understand why it does for others. Because I can't relate to those guys in romances. I'm a manly man. I have a beard and own several chainsaws. I love watching rom-coms with my wife. Sometimes they even make me cry. Lately we have been binging on Korean dramas on Netflix. Lots of good, really weird, stories on there. For me, weird as it may seem. I grew up in a quite dysfunctional family where my parents loathed each other through most of my adolescence. So I had never watched two people be loving towards each. Watching these silly stories we often discuss whether they have any hope of success long term. Generally not helps remind me to be loving and romantic with my wife. Because guys are visual and women are mental, truly mental. Lol. Disney syndrome where women are princesses and they get chased by Prince Charming. Unfortunately. Many of them also chase this fantasy in their reality. Fictional romance and fairy tale stories are one of the main reasons people have trouble seeking healthy relationships. Because those romance novels are targeted to women. Men don't get entertainment by romance because romance is something that men do and women receive. So romance is completely different for men. Depends on the series. A female-oriented romance story isn't going to appeal as much to guys as a male-oriented romance story. For example, I simply did not care for the story of Twilight. But I was invested in reading Rosario Vampire. Another series about a boy falling for a vampire girl. I can't speak for all men of course. But I have just got a new girlfriend and speaking for myself. I absolutely feel like the guy in a fictional romance. For so long I never thought anything of fictional work like that. But it feels so real like I can finally relate for the first time. Hope all you guys feel this way one day. Whether that changes your mind about fictional romance or not. I already grew up on a farm. I don't need some writer telling me what she thinks that should mean and how sexy it is that I have. Bills to pay. Men are not the target audience this content is created for. Like kids movies are made for kids and you aren't expected to like them as much as kids. Same goes for action movies and so on. Same format I don't love you. I do love you. I'm going away. I'm back.